Well, hello, my friends. Welcome to Granny B's house. I hope you're having a really good day, and I hope you're remembering to be kind to all those people around you. Do you ever have problems with your hair? You know, it's, sometimes it's hard to get your hair just the way you want it. Granny B has trouble sometimes, too. But this little girl, her name is Zuri, and this book is called Hair Love, and it's written by Matthew A. Cherry, and it's illustrated by Vashti Harrison. Just a little background here. Zuri's mom is away having cancer treatment. So her dad is holding down the fort, and he's doing things that sometimes dads don't get the chance to do. So let's start reading about Zuri and her hair. Can you see that okay? My name is Zuri, and I have hair that has a mind of its own. It kinks, coils, and curls every which way. Daddy tells me it's beautiful. That makes me proud. I love that my hair lets me be me. In funky braids with beads, I am a princess. And when my hair is in two puffs, I am above the clouds like a superhero. My hair even does magic tricks. One day, Rocky and I were playing outside when along came the rain. From large to small, it went presto, just like that. There's nothing my hair can't do. Today, I woke up extra early all by myself. I was too excited to sleep. It's a big day. Daddy was still sleeping. Shh, I said to Rocky as we tiptoed past him. Lately, Daddy has been worn out. He makes me breakfast, takes me to school, goes to work, picks me up, and yesterday we went for a bike ride around the park. I think he needs a break. Because today is special, I want a perfect hairstyle. This calls for a professional's touch. Ooh, she's looking on her iPad to see about hairstyles. Uh-oh. Paws off, Rocky. Daddy heard the crash. Zuri, what on earth, he asked. I was only trying to help, I said. Daddy smiled. Can I help too? It'll be a piece of cake, Zuri. The first style was a big no way. The second was no better. No, Daddy. Then Daddy tried slicking my hair back in two puffs. Ouch, Daddy yelled. Ooh, that rubber band broke. I bet that did hurt. That's my cat, Ed, meowing. He wants some attention. Wait a minute, Daddy said, as he reached into the drawer and pulled out a pick. Ta-da! Daddy, really, I said. I'll be right back, he promised. Now, how's that, he asked, pulling a hat down over my eyes. Daddy, come on, we can do better than that. I really need my hair to be special. Don't worry, he said, we'll figure this out. Then I had a great idea. Daddy gathered all the tools we needed and we were set. Daddy combed, parted, oiled, and twisted. He nailed it. 
funky puff buns. Pretty, pretty, and so much fun. Rocky approved. I put on my superhero cape as the final touch to a perfect look. Where's my Zuzu? Mommy called from the door. She could not get in the house fast enough. Mommy, you've got to be the prettiest Supergirl I have ever seen, she said. And your hair is beautiful, Zuri. Who did it? I looked at Daddy and beamed. Mommy smiled. Very nice. Thank you, we learned from the best, Daddy said as he gave her a big hug. My hair is Mommy, Daddy, and me. It's hair love. Well, they took a good picture of Zuri's hair and it looked like Mommy and Daddy and Zuri were gonna be okay. So I hope you're having a better day than Ed the cat. He's not very happy because I'm not paying any attention to him. He was flipping the newspaper and flipping everything around that he could get his paws on to get some attention. Do you do that sometimes? You make noise and do stuff you know you're gonna get in trouble for just to get a little attention? I guess we all do that sometimes. Well, the only attention I need is kindness. I need people to be kind to me. So you go out there today and you just be kind to anybody who needs it and even those who don't. Have a real good day now and I hope your hair looks nice. Bye-bye now. Granny B loves you.